Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Leaders Connect series. Today I have, well, my name is Isaac, and today we have Isaiah. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. My name is Isaiah. And we also have our special guest here, and his name is... Hello, guys. I'm James, and I'm from the East Coast of North America, living in the city of Rome. And we also like to welcome you to Washington, not only to our YouTube channel, but to Washington as well. Thank so, you. oh, yeah, you're welcome. So today we have seven points on what we did because it wasn't our vacation, but it was James' vacation here. And we had a few things that we did, and here it is. For, so for our first thing, guys, let's have a conversation here. What, what, what was the first thing that we did when we first got here? Um, yeah, we went on a big cruise with friends, family, with um, your mom's schoolmates from high school back yeah. 20 plus years ago. It's a long time. Yeah. yeah, I don't even think I was born yet. No, <laughs> no, probably not. Probably not. But for the dedication, I for my because actually it was no for the dead that was the dedication, not the cruise. Two different things, but it's okay. For the dedication for your sister, actually, because you guys that's actually the whole reason why you guys are here, yeah. and we're so glad to have you guys. And for the dedication, it was actually at our Shosho and Gukas church. For those of you who are American watching, what is a Shosho? What is a Guka? Uh, not what a, but who? Our Shoshone Guka, our, grand, our grandparents, we just, that's the name for it. So for our grandparents, they, we went to our grandparents' church and we dedicated our, well, his sister. What was your favorite part about that? Um, I guess probably the song that we sang, but we didn't know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I could definitely agree with that one. Yeah. What about you, Zia? um so it was probably after there was a, a lot of good food especially the chicken uh yeah um also getting to meet well getting to see our old friends that we haven't seen in a while i mean the last time we saw them was when we were visiting visiting them here <laughs> yeah i think my favorite part about the dedication was giving thanksgiving to god you know because if when the baby is first born they're born into a world you know a whole new world and I think the best part about it is giving the baby to God so that you know they have guidance in their life you know what I'm saying yeah so I think what was our second point as well um going to the cruise uh we went all the way to Idaho and we woke up very early for that it took 10 or more hours <laughs> 10 yeah. or more or was it more <laughs> and I think I was the alarm clock for everybody can yeah. I agree can uh, I get an yeah. amen <laughs> for the uh for the cruise, I the best thing that we did actually, in my opinion, I would say the lesson was about coexisting. Because if we're gonna sit in a car for ten hours together, the best thing that we can do for ourselves is learn how to get along. Can I can I can I get an amen on that one? Yeah. Because yeah, anybody wanna interrupt me because sitting in a car with these two guys, you guys are amazing, but after I think about thirty minutes, it gets a little tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think that was the highlight of it, getting to spend time with you guys. And also, yeah. as you mentioned, um, I won't do all the talking here because it's a conversation, you know? So yeah. what would you guys like to add on that one? I mean, yeah, if you were being in a car for five hours with people that you get to know, it improves your relationship. It, so if you're in a car with people you don't know or you would like to know more, it would give you some time to expand on your relationship, get to know each other, coexist with each other, you know, make some new friends, and yeah, build a greater community. Yeah, pretty much inside of one car. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Zip? Um, um, just saying that um, our mom is is doing had a, a cruise planned, and she was she was with um old old friends, um back back in her time of being in high school. Yeah, now we know they actually went to school this time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what was one of yours? Um, for the cruise, I thought um to me my lesson was, you know, when you work you when you get caught up in raising a family or working, you don't get time to enjoy yourself, relax, hang out with friends, and um, which doesn't give you some time to connect. So during the cruise, we connected with each other really well we expanded our relationship 
and we got to know a little bit more about each other. Plus, we got to eat out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think the food is good. Oh, yeah, the food is really good. Yeah. I think actually we missed something. There was actually after the dedication, we went to our grandparents' house and yeah. there was a housewarming because they were blessing our grandparents' house. You guys remember that? Yeah. And then uh, I think we, so our mom actually bought us a football. I don't think she knows this yet. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. And then. Let's keep I, this between us, by mm-hmm. the way, guys. So, uh, yeah, a little problem. Would you like I mean, to do the honors? <laughs> yeah, a little problem happened. So, yeah. When we were, we were actually playing football, all of us together, we had like a group of people, like let's say maybe 10 or ish people or 12. And we were all playing catch, or I guess you could say t- uh, Two hand touch. Two hand touch is like where you yeah. throw the ball, someone catches, and they run all the way to the other side. But I can't control my strength. So yes, somebody yeah, hurts. just went like over the fence. Oh That's yeah, it. yeah. I can't. And then, and then a few days later, we each lost a ball. This time, Isaac lost the soccer ball, <laughs> and Isaiah lost a blue ball. That we- Still doesn't compare. He lost three <laughs> over the fence. Uh huh. <laughs> But to bring it all together, I think the best part about the bless the home warming was getting to see not only our our family but our also our church community as well, yeah. knowing that there are people who will show up to your own home to eat together. I think there's a saying that goes, yeah. if you're comfortable enough to eat at a table with someone, meaning that you're oh, I think I messed it up there. Let me like when you're when you're eating with someone at a table, it shows that you're you feel safe around them. Let me ask mm-hmm. you something. If there was a lion chasing you and you and then in the middle of the forest and you see some fish, or you see, of course, it wouldn't be any fish in the middle of the forest, but say you see something to eat, it's like, oh, would you stop to eat it? Would you just stop out of nowhere and just eat it? No, because you wouldn't feel safe. The lion would pounce on you if you ate it, right? Yeah. But you feel safe enough to eat around your community, to eat around your people, right? Yeah. 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 So I think what was our next place? Yeah, we went to see million dollar houses. Oh, they were amazing. <laughs> but sadly, it was they weren't open because they would be released to the world in like five years or so. Yeah. Which are probably not even being have enough to afford it though. So oh. that goes to show the lesson I learned, which if you work hard, you get to enjoy the things you have worked hard for. Being that you worked hard for a house or to raise a family then you have enough, then you're able to start a new dream or what you want to do in life. Yeah, I definitely agree with that one. Yeah. So I think our fourth point was, what was our fourth point? The fourth? Oh, wait, I did, what was your lesson, Isaiah? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just going to piggyback on what he said, it, um, where you, you need to work hard in order to accomplish what you want in life. Um. <clears throat> Also, when you want, when you see something, the first thing you're probably going to think in your mind is, how am I going to get it? Now, you could either, now, if you're still, uh, you know, children, you might ask your parents. But for an adult, that's kind of hard because you have to work for it. Yeah, the only, but you're not there yet. You still have a few months to go. (laughs) Yeah, so you have to work for the things that you want and hope that, that, that's something you can get at the moment, at the time. Yep. My favorite part of the million dollar houses is how me and Isaiah would go around each house as fast as we can see. So we'd get upstairs first and we'd call dibs on rooms that had a bathroom. And then we'd, and then we'd see who would get there first. Yeah. Yeah. The houses are big. So, yeah. Does he want to take it out? Yeah. Next point? Before you do that, my, I think my lesson about the million dollar houses was that you have to work hard you have to first work hard to get where you are pretty much what what you do now shapes what you become in the future so yeah so we work hard and trust god that he'll provide for us because you also have to remember that we can work as hard as we can as hard as i want as we want but we always also if people are watching is to remember that god is our initial provider and he's the final provider remember that God provides for us. Uh, we ourselves and our works, it's not alone. It's, it's us alone to work. We can't do it ourselves, but it's God's grace who says, you know what? Yeah, I think you can get that one. Oh, that car that's sitting over there, that'll be yours in a few days or a few months or a few yeah. years from now. You just gotta wait, work hard and trust in God, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah. So I say you wanna kick it off? Yeah. Um, so one of the also we went to go see a movie called Pause of Fury. Um, a few weeks before he had come, 
Wait, no, a few days before he had come, we went to see the Minions, the Minions, the Rise of Gru. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, so we saw the trailer there, and the, one of the movies, the, one of the trailers that was there was Pause of Fury. So we liked the movie and wanted to see it. So we planned on seeing it with our cousin James. Yeah. And my biggest takeaway from that movie was... Um, was even even if you don't stand out or don't fit in with the group, there's always a path that you can take to get to the the end game. Yeah, mm-hmm. my takeaway was that being that the main character was a dog and everybody else was a cat, he couldn't learn like he couldn't learn how to be a samurai like other cats do. No, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for everybody that haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, my takeaway was that it doesn't matter what your race is, what color you are, how you do stuff. It doesn't determine your success or what job you get in the future or how you raise a family or stuff like that. Exactly. I love it. You just brought that in my mind. Let me piggyback on that. I think the one thing I learned from that movie was that family is precious. Not from the movie itself, because there wasn't really a specific family yeah. there. It was enough time. Yeah, exactly. There's no hugging, but I can tell you there was a bit of sword fighting. But I won't spoil it like Jim was said. But I think another thing that I learned from the movie was that it's not about the outward appearance, like kind of like what James said about whether you're a cat or dog. And it's matters with what's on the inside. And another lesson that I took from the movie was actually that see if I can remember the movie. I was like, how many how long ago was it? Um, we saw it like on Friday Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, right. exactly. My lesson from the movie itself was that what was what the cat said, he said the sensor, the master he was teaching the dog how to be a samurai was that I can't teach you how to be a cat. A, a cat. Yeah, but I can teach you how to be a better dog because he was talking to the dog. So like you right now, if I were to mentor you, I can't teach you how to be me or be someone you're not, but I can teach you how to be the better. Can we all say it together? Yeah. You. All yeah. right. Yeah, so I guess I'll go with the next point. So after we saw a Pause of Fury, we went to see a bunch of cars, Teslas, Chevys, Toyotas, stuff like that. My favorite part was seeing the Tesla. Yeah. It was one of the one Tesla in particular, a Model Y. I think, yeah, a Model Y. The <laughs> butterfly yeah. doors. It's the X. Oh, yeah, the, I guess the X. Yeah, it was big. And we stayed there for like half of the time we were there. Uh huh. But yeah. So my takeaway was that you can't you can't just go out to something and just expect that you will be provided with it. Like, say you go up to a house owner or a, a landowner and say you want to buy this house. You don't. Ex- you can't just expect for him to give you money to buy that house. You gotta work hard to be able to enjoy your hard work in life. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so when we when we got there, I got to see one of actually get inside of my dream car, the Tesla Model 3. Um, I've only seen it on social media and YouTube, all that stuff. But actually getting to see it like in person, actually get inside of it, it was really cool. I even got to play some beach bugging for um <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think my takeaway was that was because also speaking to the youth here, um, also also to us because we are you you know, we are at that level yet. I won't <laughs> limit us. I won't limit us because we'll be there soon. Like they say, time flies. But it was to work hard in school, like work hard now in school, mm-hmm. and trust that God is your source. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I guess yeah, and after that. We went to Evergreen Church, which I I recommend you guys go to. It's a fun place to be on Wednesdays if you're used or higher. And yeah, we it was a pretty fun event. Um, yeah, we stayed there for about two hours with um Pastor Elijah preaching and worshiping. It was a pretty fun church to go. It's a pretty fun church to go to in general. Yeah. But in that in that time I was in church, when Pastor Elijah was speaking, um, I learned that every day when we see something weird, we take that into our mind. It doesn't seem normal to us, like a flower growing in the middle of the road, or 
a cloud in a very sunny day or like a heat wave, but there's one splash of white ground. But for God, it's him doing miracles is like a normal thing. He does it every day, so it becomes normal to him. But to us, it's, uh, it's, an, it's incredible. It's like not something we can do, so we don't think of it as normal. Yeah. Wow. Um, so one of my biggest takeaways from being at church on Sunday and getting to hear Pastor Elijah preach was when he said that um, when you are praying, you prophesy in Jesus' name because when you put his, when you prophesy in his name, Jesus, confidently, you are, um, you are hoping for that to happen and actually yeah. trusting in, in God that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess you want to finish off with your lesson. Yeah, you learned? for sure. My lesson was that you that there's authority in Jesus' name. And because of that, we can, and it's not because of our authority, you know, yeah. we, can, we can even go out into the world when we, you know, when we build up our faith and our relationship in God, when we go into the world over time, like, I'm not saying you go doing that now, because first you have to have a relationship with God, but but remember that there's authority in Jesus' name. And when you have faith, you can even drive out demons. You can do all sorts yeah. of things. And kind of like what you said, uh -huh. when you say when you say yes to Jesus, you're signing up for weird. And yeah. I think everybody laughed after that. That yeah. was hilarious. Because the things that God does in the kingdom is normal to him and yeah. everybody in the kingdom. Uh -huh. Yeah, but since, since we consider whatever we don't do norm, not normal, everything else like how a lion eats or how a bird builds a nest we consider it weird because it's not a normal thing for every it's not an everyday thing for us so like stuff like cooking taking showers normal for us but for any other person that are like any other religious people or species may think of it as weird yeah yep. i knew you were related you can read my mind yeah <laughs> anyway so, one back to the cars i didn't even yeah. share my thing on the cars hey before we yeah. end it here my favorite car wasn't actually there in fact i think it's a little i guess you could say it's way over its time because it's back in the 1960s to be exact 1969 dodge dodge right no no, no, it's no, Pontiac GTO. no wrong one 1969 dodge supercharged yeah <laughs> well that, that's a story for another day but <laughs> My lesson about that was that you can have anything you want if you work hard for it. You can have anything you like if you work hard for it. You just got to strive and do it. Yeah. So what, I guess what's, what's one more thing that I think, I think we missed one. There was, so we had the dedication. Mm -hmm. What was the second one? We had the cruise, the million dollar house, uh -huh. of purity. We saw many cars and I guess, yeah, we went to church. Sure. And then we also saw the oh, car. Also Wednesdays. Oh yeah, we went to uh, Evergreen again for youth. We played outside a lot since we decided we arrived there late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but our biggest takeaway from that is community. Oh yeah, because community brings you in together. And yeah. also, when you're in need, you can always rely on that 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 community that you have. Yeah. yeah. So, so thank you all. I'll leave the, I'll, 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 I won't touch on it. I'll leave it to you. Um, yes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank everyone for joining us in this video. And um, to our parents and grandparents, thank you for giving us an incredible uh, three weeks of adventure. Yes. And also make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. It was a fun journey. But we left, we left some people back in North, North Carolina. They're just sitting in their houses right now. I guess. <laughs> yeah, just sitting there. Anyway, so well, yeah. I am glad to be a guest on your mm -hmm. podcast. No, YouTube. And um I would like to be a guest next year. It was a really fun journey staying here for three weeks. Yep. And I hope we can stay here for even longer next year. Oh yeah, we'll just maybe some bribing will do it. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for joining and staying tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Adios. Adios.